Hey guys, how's it going? This is Blakeu92 again, coming at you with another tutorial. This is Avid Editing Fundamentals Part 2. And this one I'll be going over several more of the functions that uh, help you edit a basic sequence together in Avid Media Composer, building off some of the skills that we learned a little bit in our last tutorial. And uh, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, you should go check them out as soon as you can because you got to start learning how to walk before you can run, as they say. And uh, like I say in all of my video tutorials, I'm a professional editor, and I'm also Final Cut Pro and Avid Media Composer certified, but that doesn't mean I'm a certified instructor in either of those. I'm just a professional editor who wants to help you guys out by putting these videos online, because when I first started out, I remember it being very difficult to grasp some of the concepts about nonlinear editing and I figured hey why not have a bunch of videos online for people to look at so let's get started continuing from where we were at last time we started going over what splicing was and basically there's two ways to uh, put something or add shots into your timeline and that's either by splicing by pressing this yellow button here or we can do overwrite now I'm going to continue off of the splice in which we did last time and basically a splice in adds something to your timeline like a clip that you have highlighted into your timeline and it doesn't replace uh, whatever you're putting here in the timeline so say if you had a position indicator right here and you press the splice button it would move everything uh, to the right of this position indicator it would just move it down this way to the right and it wouldn't cover up wherever any of this footage is right here right next to the position indicator it would just move it down it's kinda like just wedging its way right into here 